We're getting a closer look at a head-on collision in Worcester this weekend. Police say luckily no one was seriously hurt, but one of the drivers now is facing a drunk driving charge. Our Andy Madison joins us with the new details. Andy? Good evening, Trisha. When speaking to police, most drunk driving incidents happen late at night, early in the morning, but this one took place in the middle of the day on Saturday on a busy street here in Worcester, and it could have been a lot worse. Auto repair shop owner Alfred Bachnan had just left his shop on Saturday morning when he received a call from a friend telling him to turn around. They told me uh, there's a huge accident in the front of the garage. Better come down here. When Bachnan arrived at his store on Chandler Street, this is what he saw. I see glasses, plastic, everything all over the place, over my cars, all around. The two cars were coming in opposite directions when one driver swerved and hit the other one. Police say William O'Neill was driving the car that swerved. All three were taken to the hospital and O'Neill was later charged with drunk driving. The incident happening just after 11 a.m. This is a subsequent OUI offense for him. Driving while drunk or under the influence of drugs. People assume it's stuff that happens at midnight, two in the morning, but these are obviously offenses that can happen at any time of the day. Chandler Street was closed for several hours Saturday while police investigated. Two days later, some remnants from the accident are visible on Chandler Street. A bad accident witnesses are surprised wasn't much worse. They're all pretty lucky based on the nature of the accident uh, to all have been treated and released from the hospital already. That's really serious accident. Facing the face car, right, that's a huge accident. William O'Neill was also charged with negligent operation, operating under the influence, causing serious bodily injury, and operating with a suspended license, and, and also operating under the influence while suspended for a previous OUI. As you heard from the officer, this is not his first offense. But again, those that were injured were treated and released the same day. Trisha, I'll send it back to you.